Uh, recently, I focus primarily in southern Maine, and I would say we're seeing activity primarily in affordable housing and hospitality from a construction standpoint, and uh, we're seeing some glimmers of hope and some increased activity in leasing as well on the on the office side in attractive properties. Uh, the Class B less attractive properties are a little bit more difficult, but um, there's a flight to quality. Well, I think that uh, at least from our perspective as an engineering firm, we're beginning to see folks uh, invest money in, in engineering and environmental investigations more associated, at least an increase in uh, private sector money as opposed to public sector money. And uh, we're just we're seeing some growth there. It's not it's not astronomical at this point, but it's it's indicative that I think things are getting better, and, and we're seeing people uh, getting a little uh, less tight with the money and, and trying to move ahead with some projects. Uh, most of our client base are you know national type companies: Hannaford, Walgreens, CVS. We mostly see it on the renovation side. They're not really doing a lot of a lot of new construction. So we've found that we've had to be uh, very aggressive and return to our base. And uh, so we're uh, doing renovations of a lot of projects that say we've built over the last five or 10 years because uh, retailers tend to um, freshen their product every five or six years. So that's basically where we're, our growth is coming. Uh, we're seeing things stalled in particular in the industrial market where there's not as much uh, growth in distribution or manufacturing, so we're seeing a limited demand from those types of users. I think things have stalled in an area where people have less money to spend and have to be more careful. I, we're not seeing any effects from those folks that have large portfolios and are able to move ahead with a lot of capital. And of course the folks on the other end that have very limited capital are, haven't been doing anything in, in, in a long time. But the folks that uh, are in the middle, they're, they're still, where they would normally be doing work, I think they're still waiting to see how things are going to work out. Well, again, along the same lines, since we've basically been a retail contractor, um, there's just not a lot of new construction. Um, so, that's... <laughs> I would say some, some indicators would be... Um, you know, decreasing vacancy rates, I think, are always a good sign. And you're able to really tell those, um, I would say, on a quarterly basis. So that's been a good indicator. Um, and then other than that, I would say it's also just general activity and the phone ringing in the office is a pretty good indicator that uh, activity is picking up. And uh, we're starting to see that. I think the last quarter of last year was certainly better, and we're seeing good signs for this coming year. Pretty much, I would say that the uh, we see we perceive change in the real estate market when we begin to see people asking us to to do work, design work, environmental investigation work, uh, and particularly when that money is uh, private sector money, then we can get a pretty good idea that things are recovering a little bit, uh, maybe maybe stabilizing, maybe a little bit slow, maybe platform whatever whatever that condition is, depending upon private sector investment, that's when we can monitor things. It's been getting better over the past few months and uh, I think it's, it's hoping it continues. Um, we look to uh, developers because most of, again, our client base, the, the large corporations, they use local developers for their expansion. So we have a network of devel developers throughout New England that we've done uh, a lot with over the years. And we typically look at what they have in the pipeline and where, where their development opportunities are.